have I done? There's a Swift there, there's a Swift right next to it, and now there's a Swift backing in right next to me. coffee and breakfast. I'm still waiting to hear back from my DM, so. It is the end of another very, very long day. <laughs> As they say, another day, another dollar. Uh, I have a delivery window on this one up until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm actually only three hours away. So that makes it really nice. I pushed really hard, even as tired as I was. Uh, safely, of course. If I were too tired to drive, I'd, I'd stop. That's it. Um, I'm definitely feeling it by the end of the day though. <laughs> Amazon driver. Another one getting their license out of a Cracker Jack box. I'm in the far right lane which turns into a merging lane. He's next to me in the passing lane and he's not passing. My truck is gaining on his. I've got more than halfway in front of his truck. As we start coming down the other side of the hill and the big white arrows are telling you it's a merge lane, he chose that moment to try and pass me running out of lane. So I have to lay on my horn and hold my ground steady to wait for him to figure out what he's going to do. Now he's trying to pass me again instead of going the speed limit. This truck, right here. Luckily, after he got in front of me, he decided to be a good boy and just pass with a good amount of space between our two trucks. And some of these drivers, instead of looking forward, they're trying so hard to beat the truck they're passing. That's not how you drive a big rig. They do exist. It's the Seagull Mafia. They haven't given up the search for the next truck driver to toss up out the window. It's super cute though, because here it keeps watching the birds. I'm trying to figure out why they're all staring at us. Are you watching them? Yeah. <laughs> this 
This is super cool. I'm actually at my shipper getting ready to leave. And there's this herd of elk back here. Right off the shoulder of my truck. They're actually a lot closer than the camera makes it seem. I don't know if you can see the antlers on them. I just started to pull away and realized it's even bigger than I thought it was. There's a whole mess of them all the way down around the corner. That's a huge, huge bull elk right there. His rack isn't even done growing in yet. Oh, I wish it would focus better in this light. This was after the hostler had also spoken with the gentleman pulling the blue shipping container and had him move twice out of my way. Every time I'm in a river getting mad, I can I had to honk my horn three times because I realized as I looked in my rearview mirror that the same driver with the same blue shipping container also was not pulling away from his trailer straight and started coming cockeyed behind me when I needed to back up again. You'll see him on the right hand side of the screen how close he was to my vehicle as I was reversing. He has ample space to his right that there was no reason for him to cut across that way. Again, the hostler had to remind him to pay attention.
realize that we were almost home. Auntie, <laughs> are you? Are we almost home?